Hi, welcome back. Today finds me in the town of Simat, a totally new area for me. But I was intrigued when I was checking out the route where I had a world famous monastery and a castle about five or six kilometers out of town. So I find myself this morning looking to explore and see what the town has to offer and see what sort of hike it is. So stay with me and we'll have a bit of fun, I think. Well, we're at the gates of the monastery, although it does have a very Moorish look about it. Let's see what we've got inside. Well, Mia, congratulations. What an absolutely incredible place. Oh, I've got to come back and virtually spend the day here, I think, and not at the start of a bit of a long walk. But my God, this is beautiful. Just leaving the monastery now and uh, walking outside the town itself. I can see ahead of me the castle. It looks like it's on quite a bit of a promontory and there's gonna be a bit of a sweaty climb up to it by the look of it. But who knows, we'll see when we get there and see how difficult that is. Well, just taking a little detour here down to look at this little Amita. Beautiful quiet space. Mind you, there's not a lot here at the moment. And we look back towards the town and up towards the mountains. Well, I think I'm gonna have to retrace my steps a little bit to uh, get out of here. But it's worth coming down just to have a look at that. Well, we're just coming down to a collection of houses here. And I think part of it's to do with an electric substation and also a pumping station for the water. What's this? Oh my God, look at this. What's this called? La Fontada. Beautiful old bridge there. Oh, I think I can get down there. Let's go and have a look. Well, there you have the castle on top there. Now I imagine this next section is going to be quite a lot of steep uphill here. At the moment we're on a cami path, but uh, I can see shortly we're going to have to uh, go onto a mountain path here. Well, I eventually found the footpath up. It wasn't readily apparent. It should have been about 50 yards beyond where I actually took the turn. But I went back to the big sign, which has been broken, and seen the footpath just there, which was a real, real blessing. Otherwise, I was just about to give up because it was impassable further up. So, fortune favours the brave. I'm about uh, halfway up, I think, the climb to the castle itself. Just taking a minute to uh, cool off in the shade. Quite a rocky path up to be honest with you, but it's well marked. Um, uh, it's, it's, it's doable for most people. As I say, if you've got any sort of um, 
difficulties or not used to mountain pass, you might find it a bit of a challenge, but so far, so good. Uh, but it's starting to get a bit warm and getting a bit hot and sweaty. So when I get to the top, I'm gonna have a bit of lunch, I think. Well, it looks like uh, I've reached the lower entrance to the castle itself. I'll see the path looks like it's going to go to the right once we go in here. Let's see what happens there. Yeah, there's a castle up there on the rock. And I think we've got to turn right here. That is a very, very steep ascent up to the castle here, but you're getting wonderful views, but uh, you will need to be pretty determined to get up here. Well, I've had a look around the castle fascinating but I have to say it's quite tricky in here you need to be very careful uh, some of the uh, masonry is a bit loose and the footings up here are well indifferent I shall say uh, spectacularly when you get here uh, now that uh, I've been up here I've had lunch now I've got to get my way back down I've got to take it quite slowly now because it was quite a bit of a scramble the last 150 meters or so but nonetheless, glorious day for it. Let's get back down. I couldn't fly the drone up here. I'm inside a no-fly zone. But uh, I think when I go down and go away from the castle about half a mile, I can probably get it up and get a area view of it. We'll just have to wait and see. All right, let's see if we can get down safely. Now as we're going down, you can see we've got two little rope assisted sections as I say this was a little bit tricky on the way up and I've no doubt it's going to be just the same on the way down uh, I turn around here now you can see it's near the castle itself so I'm going to put the camera away and concentrate on what I'm doing Well, we're just entering back into the town of Semet. That's about 10k we've done. I've been out here nearly, what, five hours actually, believe it or not, playing around, filming, and taking my time going up and down to the castle itself. Really good hike. It's a fabulous area. Another one that I've got to come back to. There's quite a few more hikes I've seen here uh, that I want to actually have a look at, but well worth the effort. I'm just going to go into town now. I need some water, I need some beer, I need a coffee. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you on my next journey. <laughs>